Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne. Hallelujah. Who still perform miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I cannot go out a day without thanking our Heavenly Father God. Because he is our everything. He is our healer. He is our protector. He is our provider. He is our first love and our only love. That's why he will always, hallelujah, be first place in my life. And he should always be first place in your life. And if God is not first place in your life, it is something wrong with you, my brothers and sisters. It's time for y'all to get yourself together. It's time for you to get your act right. And continue to pour your heart out to Jesus. Trust him. Trust them with everything that you got. Despite what it look like right now today. Say, Jesus, I might not understand what you're doing. I might not even understand what you lead me to. Father God, it seems like it's never going to happen. But Father God, I'm going to dig deep with my faith. I'm going to dig deep with my trust. I'm going to dig deep in my hope and continue to trust and believe in you. Because I know for a fact, because your word said that you are a man that you cannot lie. Hallelujah. Nor a son of man that you cannot even change your mind. Even if you wanted to. That you have a command to bless. And right now, you are in the blessing business because you are the blessing. You are the favor and glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are the breakthrough. So, Father God, we're going to continue to trust you. Despite what's happening right now. I don't care what it looked like, but I'm going to continue to trust you, Jesus. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, hallelujah. He watches over every last one of us. And he has it in the palm of his hands. And he is working everything out to his perfect will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, my brothers and sisters. He is so worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, Abba Father, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks today. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing right now. We thank you, Father God, how you operate in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you guide us. We thank you, Father God, how you directing us. We thank you, Father God, that we can always talk to you about every and anything, Father God. Whatever it is, Father God, that's on our mind. Whatever it is, Father God, that's on our heart, Father God. And Father God, we feel like we have nobody to talk to you, Father God. Father God, we can always talk to you, Jesus, because you're always available, Father God. That's how awesome you are. That's how, that's how amazing you are. That's how powerful you are, Father God, because you're the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. You never change this, Father God. You always keep it real, Father God, and you always honest, Father God, and you always there, Father God. It is you, Jesus, who got our back all the way to the very end, Father God. Nobody but you, Father God. So, Father God, I just want to give you thanks right now. I'm going to give you praise right now. I'm going to give you glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you're doing. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, for your, for your love. Thank you, Father God, for your patience. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, for this word 
that we're about to receive today, this powerful message right now today, Father God, that's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Father God, that I'd rather be in right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, give me all things, give me your praise, give me your glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, today is the day that you have made, and every last one of us is so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. We thank you, Father God, because you perform miracles and wonders each and every day. We thank you, Father God, because it is you that is control. It is you, Father God, that is in charge. Oh, Heavenly Father God, it's not too hard and it's not too difficult for you. Heavenly Father God, your word say, when two or more gather in your name, glory, hallelujah, that you are in the midst. So, Father God, as we are praying right now today, Father God, we will know we know for a fact that you are gathered with us right now. We know, Father God, that you are holding us tight right now. We know, Father God, that you already worked it out right now today, Father God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out. And it should never turn back void today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you are King of kings. You are Lord of lords, Father God. Oh, Father God, oh, Father God, we're leaning on you, Father God. We're not leaning on our own thoughts. We're not leaning on our own understandings, Father God. So, Father God, we're putting it in your hand, God, even though we might not understand what's happening, Father God, but we know at the right time, Father God, in the right moment, Jesus, that you will reveal everything to us. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Glory, hallelujah. That I know for a fact that you're about to show up, that I know for a fact that you're about to show out. I believe and I declare, I decree right now that day in the mighty name of Jesus, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to get their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will and you shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, Abba, Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right here on your platform. Right here in my sister's home. Right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home. Right here in my brother's life. Heavenly Father God, I am asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brother and sister's life. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move super naturally right now today in my brother and sister's life. I'm asking you, Father God, to touch my brother and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to anoint their head. Fill their cup up right now today, Father God, that they continue to overflow. Allow their lamp continue to burn for you, Father God. Oh, Father God, put fear in my brother so let them have a hunger for you, Father God. Let them have a thirst for you, Father God. And I'm praying, I'm standing on faith right now today, Father God. For our blessing for my brothers and sisters, for our breakthrough for my brothers and sisters, for our miracle for my brothers and sisters, for you to open up a door for my brothers and sisters. Oh, Heavenly Father God, that you're going to send rain on their harvest right now today, God, that you will put them at the right place at the right time. Oh, God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to send them the help that they need right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, you know what they're going through. You know what they're facing, Father God. And it's nothing, I mean, glory and hallelujah, it's nothing too hard for you, Father God. And we are trusting you, Father God, that it's already done. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in your sanctuary right now. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede to intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort my brother and sisters right now today because you are confident. Father God, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts right now so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move to this place like you know, move before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you today. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us that's why there's no. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for never been by our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean state. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters that went by in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom of most of all Jesus. Glory, hallelujah that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, 
It's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do. I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart into you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. You are so worthy, hallelujah, to be praised. You are right with me, my heavenly Father God. Yes, you are. Despite what it looked like, I still love you, Jesus. Despite what we are going through, I still trust you, Father God. I'm going to continue to pour my heart out to you. I'm going to continue to walk with you, Jesus, because you are the way and you are the light. You got everything worked out, Father God. Even though we might not see it, Father God, but it's already done and it's already complete. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Today's word is another one bites the dust. And what I mean by that, my sisters, what I mean by that, my brothers, and you know exactly who you are. If you haven't seen it yet, you better be, you better be in the shock of your mind. Because God has set the right people in your life. And you pass on that brother, my sisters. Thinking that brother was not the right brother for you. You thought because he wasn't doing this, he wasn't doing that. He wasn't the right one. You didn't realize God sent you your king. You didn't realize God sent you your Adam. You didn't realize God sent you whatever you needed. But you were looking somewhere else. You was want to play the field. You was want to be a player. But when God showed you and revealed to you he was the one, it's going to eat you up because you passed up on the one that was the one, but you chose someone who was not even right for you who was not even the, the right catch for you, who was not even the right fit for you. And when you see it, oh, hallelujah, you're going to be devastated. When you see it, you're going to be heartbroken. When you see it, your whole lip going to hit the ground with your gums too and your dentures as well. When you see it, you're going to lose your mind. When you see it, you're going to be in a shock because you let the wrong person pass by. And yes, by you loud, you let that wrong person to go by. God has already set him up for another catch who is not going to allow him to pass by. And the only thing that you're going to do is beat yourself down and say, man, what I was I doing? What was I thinking? When God sent you something, don't look at what it looked like. You got to say, you know what, Jesus? I don't know what this is going it might not look like what I want it to look like, but Father God, I know that you are not going to send me something that is, is out, of, out of order. You're not going to send me something that's out of whack. You're not going to send me something that is not of you, but if God sent you something that is him, you better hold on to it and say, Jesus, I don't know what it looked like, but Father God, I'm going to trust you because when you let the wrong thing pass by and it pass you by and you pick up the wrong thing, you're going to regret it at the end because I can tell you right now today, my brother, sisters, a lot of you right now today, you are regretting it because you let the wrong thing pass by, but if you have not regretted, it's on its way and when it hits you, it's going to hit you like a Turn up bricks, you're gonna say, Wow, why did I do that for? Because God told you He is the one. You was told He was the one. But you want to be a, a player from the Himalayas. You want to be a baller and a shot caller. You thought that you had options, and you did, my sisters. You didn't have it going on like that, like you thought you did. But you're gonna soon you're gonna realize 
You let the wrong one pass you by. And when God says time to when God says time to stand up, it's time to and it's time to sit. I'm gonna show you who the king is. I'm gonna show you who the MVP is. Don't be don't be surprised that it's him. Because the first thing you're gonna say, it was him the whole time. Yes, it was him the whole time. Not somebody that's got the winning prize. Now look at you. Now you're on the sideline. You're riding the bench. Hoping somebody pick you up. Hoping somebody draft you in the first round. But they, ain't gonna, they might pick you up, but it ain't going to be in the first round. It's going to be in the 15th round. The 400 pick. That's what they're going to pick you up because that's how they saw you. And God said, didn't I tell you he was the one? My brothers, the same thing. God has placed the right woman right there in front of your face. But you passing her by because you see this woman with this tight little miniskirt on. And everybody looking at her because she wants attention. You chasing after that when the right thing is right there in front of your face. But when she passed by, oh, hallelujah. And God revealed to you who she really is. Oh, and she's going to be a catch. Because trust me, somebody praying for that woman right now. Somebody praying and begging God for that sister right now. But when the right person catch her and, she, and you let her pass by, Oh, Lord, you're going to be sick to your stomach. You're really going to look like olive oil. And spinach is not going to do you no good at all. Because you're going to look at that sister. You're going to say, man, I had her. My mother told me she was the right one. I had my homeboys told me she was the right one. I had my grandma told me she was the right one. But I was too busy trying to think I had it going on. I was too busy trying to be a player. I was too busy trying to trying to see can I scout something else. God give you something. He don't make no mistakes. It is you, my sisters. It is you, my brothers, who made the mistake. And a lot of y'all right now today, you're going to, you about to face that regret right now. That regret is going to hurt you worse than what you pass on. That regret is going to hurt you worse than what you pass by. Because you're going to think about what you had. And that regret is going to eat you. It's going to eat you. It's going to eat you alive. Every single day because you're going to think about it. Not only are you going to think about it, it's going to be so many people going to throw it in your face. They're going to say, wasn't that the one that you passed on? Wasn't the one that you really had? And you kept breaking up with him? You kept breaking up with her because you were so confused? Because your mother said that? Because the devil said that? And it, that was going to hurt you the most. Because you passed on the wrong, the right person. And you chose the, the wrong person. That was going to eat you up. Because you're going to be sitting there struggling when the other person that you passed back going to be winning. Winning at the winning at the winning, and you're gonna be on the sideline losing at the losing at the losing, and the only thing you're gonna say is, Man, why did not listen? Why did not why did I pass that on? Why did I give up? Why did I put up a fight on? Why did I question God? Why did I doubt God? Why did I question myself? Why did I doubt myself? Why did I allow the enemy to whisper my ear and say, no, they ain't the right one? When I know, deep down in my heart, God sent that man to me. When I know that's the right woman that God sent to me. Some of y'all have passed on jobs that have been right there. Passed on. I don't want that. I'm going to go over here because they pay $2 more. Yeah, it might pay two dollars more, but you didn't realize it was a it was a contract job. Yeah, it might pay two dollars more, but guess what? You was not going no higher because the cutoff the cutoff rate was exactly where it was. Some of y'all passed on friends, friends that's gonna help you, friends that's gonna push you, friends that had friends that had connection. Oh no, you ain't want that friend. You want you want the friend who who don't want nothing out of life. You are the friend that still want to drink and smoke, want to, want to party all day long. That's the type of friends you want. And you realize this is the friend. Now look what this friend is doing right now. Look how this friend is helping other friends right now. And look how that regret is eating you up right now. Some of y'all tossing and turning right now. And you're losing weight because you passed on the right person that was right there in front of your face. And you're regretting it. Because best believe somebody threw it in your face. Somebody saying, remember so-and-so? Oh, but they doing good now. Remember so-and-so? They got this right here. Do you remember so-and-so? Oh, man, you should have seen how they look right now. And the only thing is, you go to back to your mind, you know what? I had so-and-so, but I passed up on. 
If you haven't seen it yet, it's on the way. Because God's going to show it to you. God's going to show what you passed on. He's going to reveal it to you. And he, he, gonna, he is not going to open his mouth. It's going to be the people that you cho- that you that you chose that's going to run their mouth and say, you know what? You you chose me over him. You chose her over me. And this is what you had? Man, you must have been stupid. If that was me. I wouldn't even chose you over me. They're going to throw it in your face. So and there's no need to get mad about it. There's no need to cry about. There's no need for you to go tell your mother and your father, say, please go call so-and-so. I want him back now. I made a mistake. It's going to be way too late. Because you had him, you had her, but then upon your hand, but you let it pass by. You thought God made a mistake. He didn't make no mistake. You made a mistake. And you're going to regret what you passed up on. Trust me, you're going to regret it what you passed up on. You're going to think about it every single day. It's going to eat you up like a lie every single day. I promise you, my sisters, it is. I promise you, my brother, it is. And trust and believe, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to throw it in your face every time. They're going to remind you how good they're doing. They're going to remind you what God is doing in their life. They're going to remind you how they're winning. They're going to remind you how God is shining on them. They're going to remind you. And the only thing you can say, that could have been me. Could have, would have, should have. It's gone now because you passed up on something that was right there yours. God delivered it right there to you. He said, here it is. You can't see you that freaking blind. It's right here. But you allowed the enemy to come in and whisper in your ear. You were looking at things from the outward appearance. God was looking at the heart. God knows the heart. You don't know the heart, my sisters. You don't know the heart, my brothers. God does. You asked somebody who was willing to help you and your kids. And you told somebody who ain't want to see you win, who don't want to see your kids win. And that's what you chose. You don't lost all, you don't lost all around the board. You're never going to see a, a, a chance of winning because you chose somebody who wanted to lose. And you thought that was the way of life, losing. But now all of a sudden, the person who passed by is winning. And the only thing you're going to say, man. That person that wanted me, not only that person wanted me to win, but he wanted my kids to win. He didn't have a plan for himself. He had a plan for him. He had a plan for my kids and me to win and eat. And I passed that up for somebody who can't buy my kids a freaking Happy Meal. Who can't buy my kids a, a five from five at Wendy's. And I'm still struggling. That's going to eat you up. And trust and believe your family going to remind you of that situation. Same thing, my brothers. Your family going to remind you, especially your homeboys. Oh, man, you don't see old girl? Oh, but she winning right now, man. She got this. She got her own career. She a CEO. Here it is. You still laying on your mother's couch. You still bumming us for a ride? Look at her. She doing her thing. She eating, and the man she with, he is eating too. They're going to remind you, and that's going to eat you up. That job that you passed on, somebody's going to get that job. And you're going to see how, how fast they're going to elevate. But then you try to go back and get that job, the position already filled. That's going to eat you up when the position was already yours. You didn't want it. You didn't claim it. And you didn't take it. You didn't take it like it was yours. You questioned God. See, whenever you question God and you throw that blessing, that breakthrough back in his face... And it's going to pass on by you. And when it pass on by you, it's going to hurt you more than anything. That regret is going to hurt you because God gave you a choice. And when you make the wrong choice and you make the wrong decisions in life, it's going to come back and smack you like a ton of bricks. And that's going to be your downfall right there, my brothers and sisters. Trust and believe. When God says, sit up, it's time to stand. I'm going to show you who the next king is. I'm going to show you who the next queen is. I'm going to show you who's the one. I'm going to show you who you passed on. And when you see it, don't be surprised because you're going to be in such a shock. You're going to be like, wow, I passed on by this. You passed on something that was right, rightfully yours. And you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. I'm talking about your first Samuel 16. And we're going to read verses 7 
through 12. That's 1 Samuel 16. And we're going to read verses 7 through 12. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory, hallelujah. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man look at. Man look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and had him pass in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, the Lord has not chosen this one either. Jesse then had Shammah pass by, but Samuel said, nor has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, are these all the sons you have? Do you see how Jesse was passing by his the son that Jesus has already chosen? Passing by. He said, it's got to be him right here. And when the Lord told Samuel, it ain't him neither. So he had another son to pass by. And the Lord told Samuel, it ain't him neither. So Jesse said, well, it got to be this one right here. And the Lord told Samuel, it ain't him neither. So Jesse said, it got to be him right here. And he passed by, and the Lord said, it's not him either. Do you see how Jesse was passing passing up the one that God said was the next king? Do you see how Jesse was passing by the one that Je well, God was saying, here's the next one in line who I have chosen. See, be the people who you know is going to pass up on you. It's the people who God had put in your life that God, they will pass by on you. See, Jesse didn't realize that God has already chosen the king in his bloodline. Jesse didn't realize that God has already chosen the king, which is his son, to be the next big thing, but he didn't see it that way. He, he was passing up his own flesh and blood and said, no, it can't be him. He was going to choose everybody else and overlook everybody else, but not the one that God put in right there in front of his place. And that is exactly what some of y'all are doing right now today. That is exactly what some of y'all have already done today. And now you are facing that regret when God said, this is the one. God did not make no mistake when he put, when he made David the son of Jesse. But Jesse questioned God authority. He was questioning God. Because if he didn't, if he believed God, he would have said, okay then, let me let all my sons pass by. He picked every last one of his sons. What the Bible says? He had seven of his sons. He chose six of them. He said one of them can't be it. But he, he, automatically, he automatically knew that six of them, but one out of the six was going to be the one that God chose. But God said, no, out of the seven, it's one. But do you see how Jesse passed up, was going to pass by the one that God chose, but God was never going to allow the one that he chose to pass by. He wanted Jesse to see who was the one. He wanted Jesse to realize he knew exactly what he was doing. Are you following what I'm saying now? Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. Samuel said to him, The Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? There, there is still the youngest, Jesse answered, but he has tended the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent and had him brought in. He was ruddy with a fine appearance and handsome future. Then the Lord said, rise and then know him. He, he is the one. At some point, my brothers, at some point, my sisters, that one, the ones that pass you by, that pass you up, the Lord will say, it's rise. And when the Lord say, rise, they're going to see who they passed up on. They're going to see who they passed by. And they're going to see and say, now, you're the one. So at the right time, at the right moment, at the right season, you will be acknowledged, my sisters. You will be acknowledged, my brothers. And when they see 
what they passed on, what they passed by, their regret is going to hurt them. So another one bites the dust. They're going to be in their feelings and they're going to be hurt about the situation. And best believe they're going to try every anything to try to get back into your life. They're going to try every anything to call people that you know to say they sorry. They made a mistake. You made a mistake, my sisters. You made a mistake, my brothers. God, they made a mistake. Another one bite the dust. You're going to regret who you pass by on. You're going to regret who you let get past your hands. Because when somebody else get him, when somebody else get her, you're going to see what God had in store for him and her. You're going to see it. You're going to realize it. And you will be affected by it. You can play hard all day long. But I believe and I declare you're going to see it sooner than later. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today. But my brothers and my sisters, don't feel, don't feel sad because someone passed up on you. Don't feel neglected or rejected because someone passed you by. And when the Lord says time to stand, when everybody got to see you as the next king, when everybody got to see you as the next queen, next queen, when everybody got to see you rise and be the CEO or the CEO or who you are, they're going to realize they passed up on the wrong man. They're going to realize they passed up on the wrong woman. They're going to realize they made a mistake and they're going to regret what they did. You're going to see how bad they're going to want to try to emerge to come back into your life. Get ready. They passed up on the wrong person. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today. But God going to say, it's time to stand. And they're going to have to see you for who you really are. And if this word moved through today and if it touched your spirit today, go and hit Jesus like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchanged right hands and please continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm seven minutes LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name, I love every last one of y'all. Amen.